I don't I don't want plastic people around me. If you plastic, get your fake ass away from me. Because you're not only harmful to me, but you're harmful to my communities. Notice I said communities. You get what I'm saying? That means all minority and all marginalized communities, LGBTQIA+, women, men, black people, by um, indigenous people, other people look like you're harmful to those communities, right? So if I speak on a person, it should be highly regarded because something had to go on. You know what I'm saying? And what people do very well is play the victim card very well they make it seem like everybody's ganging up on them and shit like that when no you're the common denominator people aren't coming at you for no good apparent reason it's literally billions of people on tiktok why would anybody just come at you for no reason it's not unwarranted you get what i'm saying so all of these kind of things have to be taken into consideration a person can tell you whatever the fuck they want to tell you hell right. i can sell salt to a slug doesn't mean i'm a good person right. that well that's the thing it's like in and really, I'm just going to have to keep him up out of here because, I mean, it, just the more I think about it, because, I mean, he can say what he wants. I'd still like to hear what his side of it, but it it was that that threw me off originally. Like like I said, if it's if it's a conservative talking shit about a leftist or a leftist talking shit about a conservative, then I usually take that shit with a grain of salt. But when you are on the left side and not only are conservatives, but leftists also and even communists saying, hey, this ain't that dude. Then you you just ain't that dude. Like you you need to be the fuck out of him. Exactly. And if anybody needs context, I'll state two instances. One of them, everybody might not agree on it, but it is what it is. I, I gave the definition of what woke is, and I tell anybody if you're anti woke, you're pro racist. That's just a fact. Because in the definition of being woke, newer definition of being woke, it means to be aware of injustices in our society it's, and, 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 and things of that nature, especially when they're um, racially biased or racially motivated. If you're anti-woke and you have a problem with, the, with, with, with you know what I'm saying, conforming to, to injustices in our society, especially racist, if you're against that, you're fucking pro-racist. I've literally heard this person say, he who shall not be named. Oh, I may as well be anti-woke like the rest of them if this is what woke is going to get me. Whoa, buddy. Really? That's how you feel? Okay. You were never on the left. But then when I see you pay to get a black man silenced, that's a wrap for me. That's a wrap for me. I mean, I literally looked at this man, cash at somebody to silence a black man. That's it. There's no discussion for me after that. That shows me that there are no bounds to what you will do in, in your performatism just to be liked by people. You're manipulative, and that is dangerous. When I see a, a, a woman, she sh who shall not be named, sit here and call BIPOC people animals, and then literally say out of your mouth, you refuse to apologize to BIPOC people, that's a wrap for me. You're dangerous. You know, strange. I know you ain't said that, did you? No, not that well, one. That one didn't say that. But Doris, Doris, I, 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 I had never women. Doris, I had never got to speak with you before, but I, I just want to say one thing. There are people that go after people on this app for no reason because it happened to Root, and I which I witnessed it. I mean, I'm not saying that it doesn't happen. But context matters also. When you have multitudes of different groups of people coming at you about the same shit, that is not a coincidence. Sure. That's just sure. a fact. I get what you're if saying. You got, if you got people on the right and the left, if you got white people and BIPOC people all coming together to substantiate that you're full of shit, guess what? You're full of shit. As, and that's sure. the thing. It's like you... you you round about yeah, become, because you become the, the great uh, unifier. Uh, 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 I'm the You're in the tree so, soil. I've been in my forever. I said, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah that's better. Can you hear me now? Yeah, that's yeah, better. Well, okay, yeah, I, I, I'm saying, the saying, last part of the people. Part. People, are, people of color. People of color. What, what does the fucking B.I. stand for? Black and I, the, the people of color, that's the last three letters. Black. Black and okay, there you go. And people of color. I, I That's never understand. What means. What? 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 Is, all right. What? What does term come from? So it's it's an acronym put together to include all minority groups of people.
So you got black people, you got indigenous people, and you have other people of color, such as Arabian or or, or Indian, like Indonesian Indian or 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 Asian people and th- Mexican people, things of that na- nature. That's POC. That's people of color. Okay. Yes. All right. I, mean, I knew what people of color were, but I was just trying to understand what the what was the purpose of the new academic. That's fine. Right. Uh, that's, 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 that's what that is. Say everybody either you either you white or you bop up. One of the two. Right. Because you know you got some you got you got like say for example you got you got white Hispanics and then you got black Hispanics. You know what I'm saying? But Hispanic is not a race; it's an ethnicity. So they you would include them under people of color because they're still people of color. They're not white people. You get what I'm saying? I'm saying. I got yeah. you. I got you. No, no problem. This, 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 this is what I do. I try to educate people when I can, how I can, make it pretty simple. Yeah, whatever, so, that, that's pretty good. So whatever you talk to me, but imagine you're talking to a brick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's, that's fine. That's no problem. But yeah, um, uh, yeah somebody said it in the comments. A uh, certain person said, they, they duck off when I'm around like I'm going to mess with them I'm not going to mess with them I say what I had to say to them and that's that but like that's all I came up here to say just just I mean if you want to talk to people and find out their side of the story fine cool but just make sure you, you, you're you not falling you know for some bullshit because essentially that's what it is I mean I, I, I gave this person a chance when I was warned about them and I was like okay well I'm not going to go by word of mouth I'm going to see for myself I saw for myself that is it's, it's undeniable you know I can be cordial with people I can be in a room with a person I can't stand and not say a word to them because I got respect for whoever is hosting the live or that you know the room or that live however I'm not going to change my stance on that person that's me being respectful to the host even if I agree or disagree with the host and that's what I do in Roof Live all the time you know what I'm saying it's plenty of people that come in here I, I, I just don't fucking like them I don't like them you know what I'm saying but I'm a respect Root's live. I mean, I'm a moderator for a reason. Root, Root trusts that I can be unbiased in his room. So I'm gonna fulfill my, my obligation to him for that. And Root, be, Root and I both will be the first ones to tell you, we don't agree on a lot of shit, but we agree on some shit too. So. Yeah, and I know you ain't gonna let nobody be racist in my comment section. <laughs> right, right. Well, and, and, and that's what I was trying to say. Some of the people in the comments are getting on route because he's not doing anything about anything. Uh, he, he, I have seen him get attacked by the devils himself, and he just wants to see what's going on before he starts cut blocking people and kicking people, you know? Well, I think Root already knows what's going on because he, um, you know, posted a video. Um I think that was Root's way of getting him to come, you know, say whatever he needed to say. Uh, Root, all I would ask of you is, my IG is on my main page. Um, um, of course, my name, because that's happened twice tonight. Um, but my IG is on there. I would just hope that after you get done listening to that bullshit, that you can get the rest of it from me. I'll send it all to you. Mm. I'm, okay. I'm really tired of you know, having to do this. I feel like it's insane at this point. There's so many of us that have dealings with them. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, you know, you with Rosebud a little bit, you've heard things from a bunch of people and then you've seen some things for yourself. Like there's not going to be that many people from that many different groups who aren't, who aren't friends with each other or connected or anything like that coming through to say these things without merit to them. Yeah, and I, I will say that that does ring true on this app. I haven't mm-hmm. seen a case where it didn't, where if, if it is if it's different Ooh. groups of people, total different groups of people coming and saying the same thing, it's it's true. Yeah, so so, so I mean, like I said, you can you, you draw your own judgment, but I gave my piece on that. So some people, I'm, I, I I I can't tell you what to do. But I'm going to hop back down because um, you got people want to come in. So I'm going to hop down. All Thank right, you, man. Taurus. Love your it. face. Appreciate you. As soon as I can get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's trapped. He's <laughs> trapped in here. Hey, 
And it's uh, here. Here's the other thing I'll say. It's hard to get everybody organized to listen, um, you know, to a certain thing. It spread, you know, it's it spreads to a couple people, maybe a couple people share it around. And actually, I was supposed to already had a conversation with you last night, but my kids said, "Hey, we want to watch some movies, and and they're going to come before." anybody else because i was made aware that he was coming in your room and the only reason he's been coming in your room by the way is because he followed me into your room that's why you've only seen him recently yeah i have i've never seen him before like no, was it I, last night that he was in here or night before i think it was night before or it was it yesterday yeah it, no, it wasn't i don't think it was yesterday i think it was night before well, I'm telling you, he wasn't here but for a minute before I got a message letting me know he was here. But I, I just don't want to deal with that every night. And it's not her fault. It's definitely his fault. But the only reason that this is going on is because of his behavior towards women and towards BIPOC people. I, I sent him a message and said, I, I can no longer be mutuals with you. After that is when I found out that there was some, there were some other things going on and that she wanted to leave him. And all I said was, I will support you whether you stay or whether you go, you have my support. And for that, my name keeps getting brought up. I keep getting accused of things. People keep saying shit that I said that I didn't say. I'm really fucking sick of having to prove myself. And I think like we, we all are and we've all like done it so many times now. It's kind of like when you have to tell the same story over and over and over and over and over again. Oh, I don't want to have to do that for millions of people. You know what I'm saying? Or thousands of people or however many. I don't know. I said millions of people. Oh, but girl, don't even start with me on that one. Yeah, man, I've done that too many times. I put myself in front of people's faces. I've I've done a lot of things and i just got out of mark times live and one of the things that he was talking about was uh masculinity versus femininity and like one of the things that i'll tell you about uh what i what i said was is that it's assertiveness like people don't understand assertiveness and like when you're assertive and that you actually You ruin their sensibility because they can't do the same thing, all right? And so I said this the other day, and I, I think Root even uh, duetted it, is that, you know, when you want to become your own person and when you want to say the things you mean and the mean things, the things that you mean and the, and the way that you say them, all right, then... Either people accept you or they don't. And what I would recommend to most people is find the people that understand that when you say the things that you mean and the way that you say them, uh, just hold on to them because those people are the people that matter the most. What are you trying and to say? Say what you mean and mean what you say. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. We've had, we've had, so funny, I have a theme song that I think should be your theme song. You know that mm -hmm. song? I'm going on a trip on my little rocket ship. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think that should be your theme song. Well, you know what? Well, you know what? And I'll say this, and I mean this with all my heart. You know Let's what? Get Frankie, down low me, and Frankie, me and Frankie up there. We didn't agree to begin with, but I guarantee you we're friends now. And when I said what I meant and meant what I said, and when she meant what she said, like, we finally became friends because we finally found out how to talk to each other. Civil discourse. I have no clue who you're talking about, but there, there's other people, Ruth, that want to come up. Um, and I really do need to get some sleep, so... Ah, oh, the hell was sleep. Damn that. Damn that. Well, well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, if Root wants, if Root wants me to get an answer on this question he was asking, then I need my beauty sleep, okay? Yeah, no, you don't. You're beautiful. You don't need no more. Oh, I definitely you ain't going do. nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. You stuck with that for well. life. 
He said, once the, right. the tank's topped off, it's topped off, though. Yeah, yeah it, 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 it might be hard work being beautiful all day long, all your life. So you don't need no more help. What are you trying <laughs> to get out of this uh, oil spill? A couple of bodies. Oh, well, I can guess, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I'm sitting, okay. thinking, I'm sitting here thinking it, it ain't been that hard on me. I've been pretty my whole life. <laughs> oh my lord <laughs> that is definitely my cue you gentlemen have a good night have a good one <laughs> so uh, really Ruth, good pretty his whole life. Ruth EXO uh. wants to come up and uh, EXO, EXO wants to come up EXO no, wants to come up and YSO wants to come up and London please, is here please. sorry 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 okay you know how we were just talking about Travis right uh, yeah, he's in here on an account called Baking with Brenda Forty Four. The profile picture is a black woman. He is larping as a fucking black woman right now. Well, you know what? If people want to do that, no, that's not it. okay. No, 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 that's not okay. I didn't say it was okay if you were to let me finish. You I said, well, if he wants people to want to do that. Do that. Then, then that makes them a C word. Hey, hey, do I have any mods word. in here to see him? Because I don't see him. Um, he made he was me a mod, right, man? When I was requesting. Yeah, um, you're a mod. Hang on, it's... it's um, make me a mod, Rude. I did. Why so you know what? Come up I realize. I'm a, I'm a mod of on about 10 people to count. And I ain't, I ain't muted nobody yet or did anything. I, I'll be forgetting about that shit. <laughs> I ain't lying. I've been a mob forever on several people counts. I, I, I forgot how to do that shit. I, I ain't forgot how to do it. I ain't never did it to, to even do it. I don't be paying attention to people in the comments. That's why I should never be a mob. He's, yeah, he's here in the shit. comments. But you would, you would hey. think it was a, a nice black woman talking. But it's a 40-something-year-old yeah, white man. A racist white man with a black woman as his profile picture. I am Baking with awesome. Brenda 44. All one word. Baking with Brenda 44. You want to know how I, I can tell you how I know exactly this is Travis? The other night we were on a Discord call with him arguing. And he was screen sharing with us. And Dr. Root, um, if he had a bunch of screenshots of your live for some reason. Um... And Tiptis thought, because it was not your normal background, it wasn't this background, it was like a skull. So she thought it was someone else's live, and she was like, why do you have screenshots of this person's live? And he was dumb little boomer. Um, he was like, let me go through my screen, sh my my pictures. Um, he went through his pictures um, with us. That one? No, it was just like a close-up skull. Uh, no, it wasn't. I don't think it was Christmas, but it was just a skull, like a black and white skull. I saw the screenshot. I'd be able to tell you if I saw it, but well, I'm it was like a like a person time. with their face painted because she thought it was Saint Stereo's live. Well, I'm gonna have to go here soon, but I want to say this it wasn't one thing. Oh, oh, my is it? One thing. Can I say this one thing real quick? Um. I just came out of a live with someone that was talking about some of these things. And, you know, the other day, Frankie and I uh, uh, actually came to a conclusion where we could joke around with each other and we could have civil discourse. And it's kind of sad that we can't have that these days, that we can't have people that can literally look through the lens <laughs> Of who the That's person it. is. Well, you, Pony, Brenda. there's a so there's a difference in you and I joking around a little bit, and I can joke around about myself, right? Um, and that's okay if I want to joke around about myself. But if the stuff that they're saying about Travis is true, it, that it, stuff it, isn't okay. Well, he's right. me personally. Anyway, he's in here as a black woman's profile. Baking with well, Brenda then bring 44. him up here and I'll fucking put him in his place. No, no I don't need you to put him in gone. his place. He's gone. Belinda got him. <clears throat> why, why take him out? 
I'll put him in his place. We don't hey, need you to put place. him in his place. Well, uh, London, if you're still in here, can I get you to hop in the box real quick? Yeah, she just asked Ooh. that she needed to be in here. I told her that I would ask you, but I haven't had a chance. Please, to please. Please, ma'am. Um, anyway, earlier, just so I can prove that I know that account is Travis, um, he was like screen sharing with us on Discord in the call, and he was trying to prove something to us, and he was going he through his camera here. roll. He was going through his camera roll, and he had these weird screenshot Google images of black women, and that was one of them, and baking, and pies, and I made a joke at the time. I said, watch out, that's going to be his next big profile, and tonight is the first time we've seen it. You want to know why him and Rosebud are, are mutuals? You want to know <laughs> what I know is so funny about people like that? Is that, and I said this in a video the other day, I think, Irving, when people find shortcomings of themselves, they find a way to make sure that they put other people down. And you know what, man? If you want to continue to do that, uh, go ahead. Because we're going to find the best people that can be around us, and you're just not going to be around us anymore. I think, yeah, I think I think we're having different conversations here. All right, <laughs> I got I got uh, I got two people in the queue though. If I could get, I bad down, bro, but I, I ain't contributing nothing. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't get involved in the the back and forth kind of talk. And, yeah, you know I, mean? I was trying. I, I was hoping it was going to evolve into something else, but I don't think it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just sit back and listen when stuff like that come around. But well, I got you. <laughs> All right, bro. I'll let you next time. All right, bro. What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay. What's okay, happening? London. Please, ma'am, tell me what happened in your life. So my life went on for, oh, I don't know, nine hours, something ridiculous. Um, I put up a background that said, if you have a problem with me, come talk to me instead of everyone else. Uh, I woke up that morning to like 40 people blocking me. Um, and I hoped that by me going live, I would get some answers for me. But as soon as I opened my live, I had Rosebud show up who said in the comments, I know why people are blocking you. So I platformed her, um, to which that led into her telling me why people were blocking her. Um, and what? subsequently she got out the box and then Travis got in the box and Travis told me why people were blocking him. And... I, I mean, I spent nine hours learning nothing. But what I did learn is that <laughs> Travis... Wait, is, this is the live? Travis you were talking about the live like a week ago, at least. Like, it was like a week or two ago, right? I was there. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah it's been two or three weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, sorry. I thought it was... And so... But he was asking you were alive tonight. Sorry. No. Oh, no, no, no. So, Travis jumped in, and that subsequently let everyone else in <laughs> which i didn't mind platforming it it just went horribly pear-shaped and then i got drugged into it because i i was either mutuals or following or they were following me or something um and so basically at the end of the the live after listening to multiple women come in and tell Travis what Travis said, what Travis shouldn't have said, how Travis dealt with things, the videos that were online. Um, same, I mean, same thing in the comments. It was, it was bananas. Um, and when I say it was bananas, there were so many comments, I couldn't physically scroll through them, um, which Taurus has subsequently told me that I was a shit host that night. And it, I, I apologize to him. I, uh, you, you know, Root, there's, there's a fine line between like silencing everybody and then picking who you silence out of fear of getting your own life bananaed, Bananaed, right? right. Like you, you've just got to, I, I don't know. I, I don't think anyone's a professional at these 
at these lives, right? Yeah, and I, like, and I do want to even... point out, though, that, like, during that live, I mean, at multiple times, we, we did check in and say, hey, we can take this somewhere else. We don't need to do this here because there was two things going on that night, right? Um, there was um, you shutting down the agency or something. So I didn't fully understand that situation. So there was a lot of talk of that and um, with the Moist accounts or the Seahawk or whatever. But then also the Travis thing. And it was all like it was like two different, very huge situations coming to a head in your life. And so I know at least on our side. We were like, hey, 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 if you've got other shit going on, like, we can do this somewhere else. But you were a gracious host. Right. And, um, and I, I, I'm not uh, thank I you. Nothing, anything you did. You were a gracious host. But, yeah. That, that was a, but, I I mean, that would be a very even, stressful night. There was two things going on in your even, life at one time. Right. Even now, there's comments saying uh, you weren't believing the victims. That's absolute crap. What was happening is everyone was like, come on, London, make a decision right now. Right. And again, rather than, <laughs> rather than me getting angry, I was like, when I finish my live, I'll watch the information that's been told to me during this this live, which I didn't know before. Um, I'm going to look at those videos. I'm yeah. going to make a decision. At the end of the live, I blocked Travis and yeah. I blocked Rosebud. Yeah, so, as, 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 <laughs> as one, as one, as one, sir, I just want to put a quick... Um, um, put a bookmark in that really quick um, because I think um, Taurus wants to be brought back up I know um, oh. I want to keep talking to London so I would love it if I could stay but I know Taurus his name was just mentioned if I need to back out to bring somebody else in for this I will absolutely do that <laughs> I solely mentioned I'll, 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 I'll bring you right back home all right, that's cool. So, thank you so much, Root. No, ain't no problem. No, and when y'all said it happened in London's live, I was like, oh, somebody I've known for a minute now. Let me, yeah, I will definitely take her word over a lot of other people who were telling me information. And I wish that shit wasn't reported because I intentionally went to download it. And because people got reported in the box, the live became useless and I can't download it. And... Yeah. I was heartbroken when I when I went in to download it. Like I'd planned my whole day around downloading this nine hour live, and I went in. And it's like this live isn't available for download. I was crushed. <sighs> What's up? I'm back again. Welcome back, so, George. <laughs> I know, right? So, so, so this is the thing, right? This, this is London, yeah. So this is the thing, yeah, right? Because... I didn't say so much that you were a shit host. I said you were a complacent host because not only did you not believe the women, multiple women with multiple dis different testimonies about the same said person he who shall not be named. I said the things that you allowed into your space, which caused lateral damage, was the problem. And I even told you if you need more moderators to get more moderators, you did not do that. So that is why I said in, re in retrospect, when things like that happen, regardless of whether you want them to or not, you are held responsible because you are the host of that space. I didn't say you were a shit host. So I came up here yeah. literally because it's my name host. was called and I get and I get that. But I came up yeah, because when my you name was called saying that crazy. I you know crazy. like trust me, I've I've had a lot more people in my lives, like I've had up to 600 or something people in my lives. I don't have 20 moderators. I help mod with my moderators. And I make it clear. I place disclaimers in my live. Like, like specific lives I hold, I'll tell people this is not a safe space for white fragility. I, I literally <laughs> threw out my... No, I'm dead serious. And this is, I this, you is a part of, funny. this is a part of being a host of a live, right? Depending on what the topic of your lives are, you need to constantly make disclaimers. For me specifically, because of what I talk about, I will let you know to your face. This is not a state, safe space for white fragility. And if you are being... If you are expressing white fragility, I'm going to call it out. People in the comments are going to call it out. Whatever you get... I've already made the disclaimer. So nobody can sit and come and cry wolf, say, oh, well, you're being racist. I don't care. I gave you a disclaimer. A disclaimer. You see what I'm saying? So like, you, 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 you have to make this type of stuff known. So that's why I said, yeah, I get it. This, uh, mind you, this was like the first live that I did in over four or five months. 
I had all I had almost 650 people in there. I didn't have a single fucking moderator because I unmodded everybody I had just to make new moderators. So I got less than 10 at this time. And we made it happen. Nobody left that live saying, oh, well, so much racism was going on. And I even tell people, hey, you can talk shit just as long as you're not saying slurs, you're not being racist, you're not being bigoted. Yeah. You want to talk about me, whatever, cool. And I make sure that my mods know the assignment. When you don't do that, all responsibility of what happens in that space falls on you as the host, whether you like it or not. Whether it's hard or not. Hell, it's hard sometimes for me to get out of the bed. I still got to get my ass up. That's sometimes. Let it be a Saturday. Watch me stay there. So that's all that I said. Like, I didn't say you were a shit host. I just said that you were complacent in what was going on in your life, which I understood. But I also gave you advisory to say, hey, get more mods. Let your mods handle it. Yeah, that's I'm not saying what's happening. I even got muted. Know now you know that thing gets if when it gets hot sometimes yeah, it gets and, hot. And, and I and I and I get that, but like I said, I always say this: context matters. I don't know if you remember or not, London, but I even told you I'm like, hey, I got muted. I got muted for the entire live for trying to help you out. I came in on my backup, and somebody in your live that knew me told you to unmute me. Unmute oh, me. A, I actually got blocked, and yes, then when man, I got unblocked, I got muted. You see what I'm saying? So, like, context matters. So, everybody here knows how I am. I'm very blunt. I don't coddle people. When my name gets brought up, I'm going to get in the box and talk, whether you want to hear it or not. That's just me. Great. And I I platformed you in my life. I've never come across you. I, we're not mutuals. Like, as soon as you showed up in my live and the request was, so I don't know how you were blocked or muted in my, in my box. I don't know how that happened. This was before I had gotten in your box when I was in your comments trying to tell you and validate all the other women who were talking about, um, those people. And the first time that I made the comment and say, hey, you know, you got a problem in your comments. I, I can't remember my words verbatim, but I was basically letting you know, like, hey, you got a problem in your comments or whatever like that. And I addressed them to you. Right. And you said something. And then, like, shortly after that, I was blocked. I came on my backup. I'm not going to say which one it is, but I came on one of my backups. And that's when I was like, wow, I got me. I got blocked. And then somebody else told you to unblock me. So I came back. I, then I was. I don't know who I came blocked. Back. I don't know. I don't know who blocked you, Taurus. It no, sure I, so I, wasn't no, me. I, no, I, I got you. I'm. Just, I'm just saying, like the context. You know, just for context. And like we're 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 not mutuals, and we're not blocked from each other or anything like that, or, or none of that stuff. What? What? Matter of fact, in that live, that's when I told you because remember you was like, well, I'm going to talk to Travis. Same thing Root said. I'm going to talk to Travis and see what he says, and I want to hear this, that, and the third. And I'm like, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? And I, that's right. when I came in the box and let you know from my experience and what I know, the people I know, everybody who was making their testimonies about said person. <laughs> Excuse me. And, and that's how all that went down. That's how we ended up getting everything cleared because you did allow me in the box. And I kept it respectful, right? Is Buddy worse than Bluntman? Um, ugh, is what? Um, Are we comparing is, if an, one abuser is worse than another? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I'll it was honest, a sideways question, but I'm just saying, is he as bad as Bluntman? I'll be honest. It I don't sounds think like you know bad. what? He's worse because he's, he's a wolf in sheep's clothing. I, I, Tyler Bluntman, you know who he that. is. That's, that's I was true. get. I was just about to get to that. I would, if I had to put it up in the words, I wouldn't say that he's worse. I would say that he's more manipulative because he's he hides worse. it. Well, she's cold then. Yep. Just like you Jessica, know, who Tyler Butman doesn't pretend to be anything that he's not. You that's know true. who he is. He wears his bigotry on his fucking sleeve. Right, Travis, yeah. on the other hand. No, he's a the fucking wolf in sheep's clothing. He's a fucking yeah, he master is. manipulator abuser. He is. So he infiltrates so he infiltrates let, let safe me. spaces and then he, he he mind fucks you into believing he's this decent person and then next thing you know, boom, smack in the face. You know what I'm saying? And that's the worst kind. So they're both 
pretty yeah, fucking Name any weird. creator on this app. I'm going to say right now, Travis is worse. <laughs> I just, I, that was already Modern the worst Warrior, name. Travis is worse. He's gone. So the, <laughs> he's gone. So the end goal of the live where I blocked Rosebud and Travis still has my name being dragged through the dirt because apparently I don't believe people. No, no, that's what that's, that's, that's what's and happening I told in the people comments. They, well, they well, well, hold on. Are you a mod? I'll make you a mod right now. Block the shit out of them. There's a um. No, they just said that you were, you had that live, and everything went down in there. So as soon as I found out it was your live, I was like, oh, shit. Let me, right. Let me talk to her because I've, I've known the you live the whole time. Was about I've been on TikTok. People were blocking me. Wasn't about, wasn't about Travis. Wasn't about Rosebud. Wasn't about anybody like that. It just happened that you? Seahawk showed up. Seahawk refused to speak to me because you, listen to how fucking pathetic this shit is. I had a Discord group with 30 people in it that was called The Agency that was based off a fucking video game. A whole bunch of fucking useless individuals ran around saying, oh, she's having people mass reported, which I've never fucking done. I bring all my agents to fucking lives, which is fucking bananas. Anyone in the agency can tell you that. And subsequently, it caused me to lose multiple friends that I spoke to on a daily fucking basis on Discord because people fucking got in their feelings about it. Oh, you going to get your agents? Someone fucking accused me of stealing their mail across the country. Like, I mean, fucking ridiculous. I've been called a cult <laughs> leader. Someone confirmed me, uh, said that I was fucking like Manson. Like... The most fucking ridiculous shit ever because I came up it, because I made a discord group called the agency that was based off a fucking video game. The video no, game is Agent 47 because someone told me I, I used to jump in Gamer Lives and someone was like, wow, dude, you sound like Diana Burnwood from the movie Hitman. And so I would jump in these gamer lives and I'd be like, good morning, agents. I hope you have a wonderful day. Be kind to each other. And then I would jump out of these fucking gamer mm. lives and these mm. fucking kids would lose their fucking mind. And so someone suggested it and I was like, oh, that's kind of funny. Agent 47 is a fucking rapper on the app. Like, it, it's fucking so stupid. But people fucking took it to an extreme because not everybody yep. was invited. Right. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hop it out. I just, I, I cleared my name already. I'm going to hop it out. So. Yeah, Travis, right, your name was never in, in any sort of issue. Not with me yeah, anyway. I, I, no, I got you. So I, 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 I just wanted to, sorry. you know. And just so you know, the person the that accused her of flying people across the country to ruffle through and steal their mail was the same person that drugged me back in July. Okay. Okay. So that whole that whole shit went on. That that led to a that led to a um uh like forty odd people going, Oh, uh Rosebud's in the agency. Rosebud was never in the fucking agency. Rosebud put Agent sixty eight in a fucking bio. If Rosebud knew shit about the agency, she would know that Agent sixty eight's taken. So she couldn't have been Agent sixty eight. That's fucking irrelevant. She was never in the Discord group. I never fucking spoke to her. Nothing. It was based on a fucking video game. I remember and so you doing that. That is how this shit started. Weird to me. This is so weird. <laughs> I, well, I remember that. I remember that starting off and being the joke. And yeah, people were like, right. "I'll be a, yeah, agent this and agent." Yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. that. Right. I remember that. Right. Like, it was a joke. But the problem is, is it was seven months down the line. These yeah. fucking people are the reason I'm fucking alive. Like, I, I couldn't, there were numerous individuals on this app that would message me and go, London, are you going live? Like, I need someone to talk to. Because I was hosting lives Travis, every day yeah. after Roe v. Wade. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Ruth, Travis Blunt, man, what's up? He's in the queue. <laughs> Travis Bluntman? Yeah, yeah, he's in the queue. Oh, hell no. <laughs> he gonna stay down there. <laughs> um, that's, that's just too much. That's too much. 
<laughs> but like it just it it's fucking Travis turned into blood. something that was a joke. No, and now I, I go now I go into lives where people are screaming cult leader at me and oh you're just like Manson you make everybody do your dirty work for I mean it's fucking just a joke. I mean it, it, it's fucking it, 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 Seahawk was this agency thing is weird as fuck, guys. Like, can we just say that? It's weird. <laughs> well, I don't That's know. Weird. Like, I mean, when it comes to the discords, like, it, <laughs> I've I've seen I've seen way crazier. The fact that it exists, the fact that there are like grown adults across the globe talking on this app, calling themselves agents, like that's funny. <laughs> well, I mean, it's funny, but at the same time, like, it's it's a whole lot better than, and, and I'm gonna say it because it's going around now, but moist that's the same with the uh, uh eratos right. like yeah they're all movement. silly right yeah, right he's an individual games, that whatever. accused me of being a cult leader but yet he made 60 individuals change their fucking username to moist whatever and i'm being accused of a fucking cult leader i never asked nobody to do shit for me so never asked anybody to fucking change their username nothing okay the yeah, reason why we were them. agents okay. The reason um, we were agents was for anonymity, so that you could come in there and be honest, and someone couldn't follow you back to TikTok and be like, oh, this individual's got this problem and this problem, and they suffer from depression, and they're trans, but they don't want to tell anyone. Like, it was fucking supposed to be anonymous. That's it. You were supposed to go there and have somewhere to talk. And it took fucking seven months. Like, these people became my fucking best friends. Mm -hmm. Like, it sounds sad, but yeah, we're all across the country, but it wasn't a fucking CIA agency. Like, it's based on a video game. I could have called it, I don't know, fucking Toy Story. And I could have been Woody and you could have been Buzz and like, okay, it's well, I, I didn't know all of this now. The night I met you was the night that you were going, I'm closing the agency. <laughs> the agency doesn't exist right. anymore. <laughs> I had to look at the damn profile picture. <laughs> I had um, to ask. <laughs> so anyway, I, I want to regroup here, and I want to say, okay, we, we've gone a little astray here. Um, where are we on the platforming of Travis and Rosebud? Can we can we block on my that? Yeah, I mean, it, it seems that at this point. Um, now, like I said, Rosebud came in here the other day. No, I'm, it was cordial, sorry. and um, I haven't had a problem out of her in here. Travis, just because of the drama that comes along with, I'm not not letting that in here anymore. Um, just like I don't one. want to call him being racist or like abusing women drama, right? Well, no, I'm not. I'm not calling that the drama. He has his own issues. The drama that comes along with is the 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 fifteen friends and the and the twenty attackers and you know what I mean? Like I don't need all that. I don't need a, a, a war of, of words being fought amongst thumb thugs in my comment section. Word. The drama is like what happened in here tonight. That's the drama. I still, well, I mean, I've been here a half hour. I still don't know everything. I'm just like, <laughs> this is like a, a hard I game mean, of clue. And I don't really like, want to say something. like, you know, BIPOC war people warning other BIPOC people about harmful people. Like, that's not drama. Well, I don't, yeah, I don't think it was, it was really the, the drama, but I mean, it touched on it. And like I said, me posting that video today, I posted that video because it was sent to me and it's, it's, one oh, of those Rose, Rosebud's in here. it's, it's one of those videos. Like when people do send me stuff like that, I know people watch my shit, so I, I'll post it. Right. Um, cause it's not acceptable. You shouldn't talk to people like that on this app or hell in real life. Um, right. And if you do, you'll get fucking clocked. That's right. the thing that fucking blows my mind. Like, <laughs> it, 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 it,
buttons in both fucking live boxes and the comments. Say this shit to somebody's face in fucking real world and they'll fucking rock you. Do you know what I mean? Like, just block the person and fucking move on. But the problem is, is I went live to find out why I was being blocked because I literally had no fucking idea. I literally had no fucking idea. And even now, fucking some of the messages I get are fucking stupid, stupid. There are numerous individuals on this on this app. I will scroll into their live and I will get you're a cult leader. Oh, I, I am. And you know this how. Oh, well, because someone told me. Yeah, that's the shit I don't play. So the shit that I learned during my life about Travis, about Rosebud, I'm not going to sit root. I'm the exact same way as you. I'll figure it for myself. I'll do my research. I'll make a decision. I'll come to my decision. That's my decision. I'm not going to let a bunch of people who don't feed me, don't fuck me, and don't finance me on this fucking app tell me what I can and cannot do. I'm not going to do it. Right. Right. So I, I learned for myself, I got information, I gathered my little information, I ended my life, I went, done, done, have a good fucking day. I made my Can own I? decision. But I've got people in the box going, London, you need to make a decision right fucking now. You need to make a decision right now. No, I fucking don't. <laughs> right no i don't exactly well i can i can totally like understand and respect where you're coming from i get it like um i i, I promise you i do but at the, at the same time i'm asking you to look at it from like the other perspective where like having to prove something over and over and over again to people who you know um generally generally present as if there are allies or accomplices right so saying okay no wait let me take the time to and i get it you want to prove it for yourself but just recognize like how exhausting that is for the people who were abused and are spreading like word of said abuse does that make sense it, it makes sense right. but at I the same never, time like, i never asked anybody like, to come up in my life and prove anything to me I never asked anybody to Fair prove enough. anything to me. Yes, so but he's but I had he's, five but, boxes but the thing with five is, women. There's an abuser and he's innocent until proven guilty, right? And until you see him no. be bad, um, that he's going to be good, said. right? And you're going to offer him a safe space. That's what that's what it sounds like. No, she my, blocked him. No, my live was about why I was blocked. Had jack shit to do with Travis. Had jack shit to do with Seahawk. Had jack shit to do with Rosebud. I never asked anybody to come up. The background of my life didn't say if you've got a problem with Travis, come here and air your shit. Mm -hmm. But what ended up happening was Travis got into your into your box and started talking about people. The live started getting shared to those people. We came in, and you know what? Like, and then we have to prove to you that we're not just these crazy people. Like, he actually is harmful. Again, just nobody asked. Nobody asked you to relive stories. Nobody asked you to do any of that. I'm not saying I was traumatized by like reliving stories or something like don't don't misunderstand me here. What I'm saying is, is that like I understand where you're coming from, where you don't want to just believe in the word on the street. I get it. You want to prove facts. But what I'm saying is just can you please also recognize how exhausting it is on the other end? Like I'm not saying you're a bad person or anything like that. I said I agree with you. Okay, well this is what I don't get though. But after the acknowledgement, like I can acknowledge it. Yeah, it's exhausting to have to do that stuff. I understand. I've had to do stuff like that myself. Now what? You're still going to have to do it because I'm still not going to just take your word for it. Um, I mean, yeah, I know the, the Me that's Too the part movement that was I'm one hell of a thing, but like, I'm not, I'm not taking your word for it just because you're BIPOC or just because you're female or just because you're okay. A so Republican now, but, so or there's whatever. Proof. I'm not, I'm not taking you've seen your word the, for it. Some, you've, you've seen, okay. As of tonight, you've seen, you've heard, and you've seen proof. Now, what is the question, right? I don't know. What's the question? Uh, are you uh, is he blocked now or are you gonna make a decision tomorrow? right now make a decision no, right I'm now no i'm not saying you have to make a decision right <laughs> right. That's, 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 that's pretty much that's what you're telling me i'm not i'm not, I'm not, I'm not letting him what i'm saying i'm not letting him back in here tonight i'm not i'm not letting oh him back in here it, i'm not letting him back in here tonight to okay. talk about anything <laughs> i still want him to message me I w i'm now wanting to see this fucking jerry springer show um okay so I feel like I've right. been force fed a ticket, so damn it, I'm going to eat. 
We're not safe here. We're going to let let me say this. Thank you for letting us know. We're not safe here. I've seen, I've seen, I've heard this person after this person after this person since I've been sitting here tonight. Frankie, somebody's after her. Somebody's after this person, this person. I'm going to tell everybody in the comments now, if you keep fucking with Jersey Girl, the whole damn house is going to get cleaned. That's exactly right. Y'all better knock it off with Jersey. Uh, that is that is a fact though, because if she blocks you, you're, there is no coming back. Yeah, and I just want to throw something out there. It's only partly related, just because I was came in a little late to the story, and so I had to look at somebody's profile to see what they were talking about. If somebody tells you they're going to send a Navy SEAL to your house, a you, you don't got to worry, because there's not a single person on this app that I've seen claim to be a Navy SEAL that's actually a fucking Navy SEAL. Okay. The problem, I'll tell you right now, the problem was is that Travis was running around using someone who I am mutuals with, who, funnily enough, I just met for breakfast in Vegas a week ago. Uh That individual is scary as fuck. If you're going to throw his name around, you better make sure that he's fucking behind you 110%. He's fucking as scary as they come in real life, right? I'm not afraid of him. But if you're going to throw his name around... You better make sure that he fucking backs you up. And Travis didn't have that. Travis used his name uh, literally in vain, knowing full well what he was capable of because of information he had heard. Yeah, well. And so so when it got to this individual, this individual was like, fuck no, I ain't coming to nobody's house. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, right? I like, but that, I, I, I just, I mean, this I, I think why so wants us. Real specifically life. specifically talking about, but I'm just saying, every, anybody who tells no, you they're, a, anybody who tells you they're a Navy SEAL is not a fucking Navy SEAL. And then on top of that, nope. if, unless if, they're a pilot, if, if, if they Trav- tell you pilots, chances are they are a pilot. To his uh, <laughs> docs list. Go, go ahead and send your fake Navy SEAL out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, are you talking about uh, rebel? Be out rebel? Of- well, who, yeah. whoever I'm not talking about anyone in particular. Yeah. I'm saying if somebody, yeah. if somebody was Travis threw Rebel's to, name around, pe- people who make it like through Rebel Navy SEAL training, people who make it through Navy SEAL training, don't go to people's houses on account of somebody else on TikTok. <laughs> oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. That's a safe bet. <laughs> yeah. I can honestly say that's, that's not going to happen. To, to Jay and and uh, he, and B, I, I've talked with Road Rebel. He's a uh, 82nd Airborne First Sergeant, so I don't think that's who they're talking about. And I'm not saying anything about okay. Road Rebel or anybody in particular. 100%. I'm just saying if somebody... No, but that's who, that's, who, that's who Travis was throwing his name around. And he was like, oh, Road, Road Rebel, come off to you. Road Rebel knows where you're at. That's what he was doing. And that's that's what I was trying to clarify earlier too. With it, when I, that's why when I asked you if it was Road Rebel, because I know Road Rebel was a uh, he definitely like he I knew him to be a first sergeant and not a uh, and right. not um yeah he's he, he's Navy not a Seal. Navy Seal he's scary though he's scary though I wouldn't want Road Rebel coming off to me just saying I wouldn't I wouldn't want that for anybody not not just me. <laughs> Yeah, well, I just wanted to jump on and show you all my new username. (laughs) You need need to add Solo in there. Why so is asking to come up, Root? Yeah, here, go ahead and uh, I'll drop out and you can make room for them. I got to get going to bed. You guys have a good night. All right, man, you too. Who wants us here? Why so? Why so redacted? Riley, what's up? Oh, no, I was just going to come up earlier and to, when you guys were talking about the agency because I was one of the agents. And the fact that Rosebud's in here trying to talk about, oh, I, I didn't know what it was about. She absolutely knew because we talked about it multiple times. Um, and it was the fact that she claimed to be part of the agency that bugged a lot of us 
because we were a very close knit, as London said, we were a very close knit group of people that only a few of us actually knew who some of the others were. Most of us were anonymous, and that was the reason, as London said, for the agent numbers. And there were a lot of times that I was so... She was never invited to the Discord, and what made it worse... Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. But what made it worse is there's certain other creators in this app that have gone ahead and taken screenshots from Rosebud's Discord server and said, here's screenshots from the agency. Nah, motherfucker. Nah. And I can't clear my name with those individuals. Individuals that don't know shit about the agency going, oh yeah, that's London's server. No, it fucking isn't. No, it fucking isn't. And I would love to speak to those people, but... mm, They won't fucking speak to me. So when there's screenshots that go up and people go, oh, that's Rosebud in the agency, in Discord, no, it fucking isn't. No, it isn't. And hey, Rosebud, you're in the comments right now. Will you please confirm that you were never in the fucking Discord group? She's saying it's a lie. Will you please confirm you were never in the fucking Discord group? She won't confirm it because she just said it was a lie and that she was. Um, I'm going to hop down after just saying one thing that I wanted to clarify about the Road Rebel part of things. That yes, Travis was absolutely using Road Rebel, even though he didn't know what, you know, what group he was in or what his training was or any of that, right? Um, And I know that um, Travis Bluntman was trying to be, um, you know, I don't know, maybe comforting by saying like, don't worry, anybody who's a SEAL isn't going to be coming to your house, that kind of thing. I just want to point out, um, us as, as women or female presenting people in the world, we do have to take all those threats seriously. We just do. We are not safe when men say they're going to come to our house and hurt us. You know what I mean? So, like, even if, yeah, it's probably unlikely or we don't know who this person is or that doesn't sound like them, we always have to take those kinds of threats seriously because that is part of being a woman that lives in the world. Oh, no, no I, I, I get it. I, I get it, but I think... right now who are threatening to drive and right. So I just wanted to kind of point that out for, for Liberty's you know, um, thought process too. like, thank you for trying to be like, Oh, don't worry. These people wouldn't come hurt you. Just understand that us as women, we can't take your word for it. We always have to. Yeah, no, and I, I get know? that. I just think that what he, what he was really getting at is, is <laughs> just like, like people that, that have these, these high end Pentagon three letter agency words, they don't oh, yeah. brag and boast and, and this, that, and the other people that Absolutely have not. acquired this level of skill to be a seal. Don't just show up at your house because Jim Bob on TikTok said, Hey, could you handle this for me exactly 100 percent. and i do agree with that and believe me like i'm one of the weird people that has no self-preservation smith and wesson are my best friends and i ain't scared of no man but i understand why we can't like you know continue to just be like oh it's fine it's just the internet because people do show up at people's houses and bad things do happen especially to women disproportionately so i just wanted to kind of point that out just for that purpose and to let him know for the next time he might want to talk about it to remember that women who live in the world do have to not take your word for it you know yeah i got you yep but i want to hear more about the agency so i'm going to duck out now i'm kind of upset that i didn't get involved when i could (laughs) have honestly right there there were many many days and london can attest to this fact that i was so down on myself that like i just I wasn't talking, I wasn't talking, and, like, she and some of the other agents would get me into voice chat, and we would just talk about shit for hours. Like, it literally, like, we'd just talk shit on each other, to each other, about each other, and it was all in fun, and, like, it was just all in fun, and it always made me feel better, knowing, because I, I don't really go out, I have really bad social anxiety when it comes to going out and meeting people in person. So having a group of people online that I could trust to tell my feelings and my problems to without being judged at all for anything I said, it was a sense of like security knowing that I had a group of people I could go to with shit. 
I can't even go to my own parents because if I try to share my feelings with my own mother, she tells me I'm playing the victim. And that's somebody that's supposed to love me no matter what. But I had this group of people I met on TikTok because I was scrolling through lives, like debate lives, and that's how I came across London, and that's how I met everybody else that accepted me just because I'm me. And the fact that because somebody had Agent 68 in their profile and has said some really nasty shit to other people, which caused our whole friend group to get dragged through mud. And then there's somebody, literally this person was saying that London was sending us to her home to steal her checks from her mail. Last I knew, the, the, the checks she was receiving were direct deposit. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to drive from Missouri to, I, I think, Florida just to steal some, one thing out of somebody's mail, let alone steal anybody's mail, period. Why would I do that? Like, and it just, I mean, it hurt a it's lot of us. Stupid, but for me to be... And it, it trickled down. It trickled down to a whole shit ton of other people that had nothing to do, even do with it. They came in the agency knowing they could speak freely. They wouldn't get fucking called names like they would here on TikTok. I mean, it's fucking insane. You say something, it's either taken out of context, it's fucking, there's a video made. Like, there's a whole bunch of shit that just happens. You know, Root. I mean, you've been famous on YouTube several times. Like, <laughs> you, you just can't fucking do anything. I'm scared to put a fucking YouTube link up in my fucking bio. I'm scared to do this. I'm scared to do that it's fucking it's all sorts of shit i've got people sending me messages oh i've done a deep dive on you i'm gonna ruin your business i'm gonna ruin your husband's business okay cool why why are you mad because the second video of me has a hairstyle that's why you're fucking mad like that's literally why this one individual is fucking after me follows me around live screenshots all sorts of shit because of the way i wore my fucking hair Without actually having a conversation about it, without actually having a, a, a any any form interaction with me at all, my videos right there has never been taken down. Every video I've ever made on TikTok is up on my profile. If you didn't look, that's not my fucking problem. You talking about the way you use that to is have not your my hair? fucking problem. Yes, that's what yeah. you're talking about. Oh my god. Yep. Yeah. The agency sounds make believe. I'm sorry. Well, I promise you, sitting in that, sitting in that agency when someone's in hospital, and they need fucking, they need support, and you sit there for fucking twelve hours and you take twelve hour shifts. That's not made up. That's friendship. That? And if you don't have friends like that, I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, this it sounds a lot realer than the space force. That sounds yeah, like. This this person yeah, right. that was in the hospital had been suffering from a, a case, a two month long case of the hiccups, and it was causing him them to have severe anxiety, um, unaliving ideations, and while he was in, while they were in hospital, we were literally, as London said, taking shifts, being on voice chat. Because the only way they felt comfortable sleeping in the hospital is if they were hearing our voices. Well, can I interject? Sure. See, here we, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Not you, Pony. Not me. Watch the comments, Root. <laughs> no, I no. Won't, I won't if no one That's... wants me to. When? <laughs> It's up to root. Do you want me to interject? Yeah, go ahead. I'll tell you this. Um, you know, I I host a lot of things where people go through a lot of these different issues. Um, I actually do have other platforms where you know I help people talk through these things, um, and especially veterans. <laughs> And I can tell you this, that cyber, you know, problems are problems. And, you know, I put my face in front of other people 
when cyber problems happen. I put my face in front of myself when cyber problems happen. Um, but I'll tell you this. Um, you know, you find the people that are real and you stick around them. And you'll find out that uh, you find your real friends. And, you know, I found my real friends around here. You know, Root's one of my best friends on here. And I'm trying uh, to figure out how you put your face in front of yourself. What? Yeah, look at look at the comments, Root. You said you put your face in front of yourself. What do you mean, put my face in front of myself? That's what you said. Well, you want me to put my face on the camera right now? Good. No, don't. Okay. What I'm saying is I put my face in front of the idea of get the fuck away from people if you aren't a part of being a part of civil discourse. And if you're not and you want to be a part of beep, beep, beep talk, which is what I always talk about, you know, then get the fuck away from people. And, you know, when you lose those people, when you run away from those people... When, and don't, you know, run away sounds like that you're being coward. And this is what Root and I kind of had to go through. And I think Root would agree with this sentiment. Just get away from him, man. Just go away from him. Just just stop talking to him. <laughs> and and it, yeah, it changes, is, it changes your, insane. it look changes. At, look at the comments. What? Look at the pony, fucking comments. I don't care about what the comments say. And I've said this so many times. No, but this is this is the issue. Tony, Here that's is a what bunch this is of about, people though. who have Tony, no idea what, about me. That's what this is about. They have so, no idea on, about Tony. me. And here we're, here we're having a conversation all about my fucking hair in the comments. And by the way, if y'all do but look that's at that the second problem is video that's what on I'm her trying profile, to help with. hold on, hold on. If y'all do look at that second pin video on her profile, make sure you look at the date it was fucking posted. It is not recent. You're gonna have to. It doesn't you want matter to find if it's fucking any recent. unpinned videos of her with the locks in her hair. You're gonna have to scroll a while, a while. Right. And right. Root, how, but, and root. May I interrupt? How long ago did that shit happen with you? And how many times did we have to put our face in front of the camera to tell it people It hasn't been that long off? ago, Pony. It hasn't been that long ago. Well, you know what? Did it happen? Yeah, but it don't... It doesn't matter at this point. It uh, does matter. I will say that everybody that's got a problem with, with London's former hairstyle, oh, respectively, take a fucking hike. Yeah, fuck off. The fuck, out. the fuck out. And fucking talk to me and not her. This is and I mean that. Me. I'll put my like, face in front of really someone else. Is. Like, it's it's been, what, like, almost a year since you took those out, London? Like, come on. Yeah, the video that's, the video that's pinned is, is from almost two years ago. But it doesn't matter. It's, what have we done here? We've matter. looked at hair. We've looked at, we've looked at race. And here we are now. It does matter. Like and that's, those people that's why someone is you. is trying to ruin my business because of a hairstyle. Like, do, do you understand the fucking level that that is? Yeah, I do. And I tell no, them they can come fuck with me instead of you. And I did that to Root too. Look, and Root did you, did you take him out because you realized it was cultural appropriation and was racist? I don't give or a fuck. Or are you what it is. On it. They can come after this me. This is fucking stupid, dude. This I don't is give a goddamn so what the reason why I will tell them they can come after me instead of you and they can fucking come talk to me. And I did it with Root and Root can back me up. I will get in front of the camera for other people and tell them to fuck off. Hey, Root, I'm going to drop down and let Taurus up. I'll be back in a second. Okay. Love your Thanks. face, Marshall. Thanks. Love you guys. And Frankie knows I'm real. I will fucking put myself in front of No, I get it, Pony, but here, here we go. 
So, Ruth, Dana might wants to come up, too. She has something to say about all of this. Trust me on that. Come talk to me. No, Come Pony. Let me get railed about No, this. Pony. Not when Dana comes up here, please. I'm asking you. Hold on a second, Dana. What's, what's up, everybody? Y'all can hear me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit, nobody's okay. telling people how to feel. Okay, so, so, so I didn't know anything about the dreads. Um... And I was legitimately asking, but I will say this, um, Sparkle Pony, you're going a bit hard. Um, if people want to ask her about her hair, hey, hey, I, I didn't know anything about it. So I asked and me being black and how that's culturally a tie, a tie to me. I got every reason to ask about it. Well, then come fucking talk to me and don't go okay, after see, her. Okay, see, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. No, nah, I got that, Frankie. See, hold up. I came up respectful. And I said it in the comments. I'm going to keep it respectful. But one thing I won't respect, Pony, um, you don't fucking know me. So watch your fucking mouth talking to me like you that. You don't know her when either. I, no, fuck you. I, watch your mouth because I wasn't even talking to you. Well, so you watch your fucking mouth only, when this something real to chill. my culture really? and I'm asking legitimate questions. And all I said was Sparkle you coming know a little her? bit hard. That was it. I don't give a fuck what you got to say, Sparkle. I literally said it respectfully you don't that you care can't you coming a little bit. Don't man, I don't care. Either. Bruh, like I said, I literally said I respectfully. I didn't know, and I was asking, and I said, res and I said respectfully, you going a little bit hard, and then you 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 had the, the nerve to come out your mouth and come at me just now and say, oh well, that fucking applies to you. First off, I didn't curse at you. Second off, you're a dickhead. Third, I don't give a fuck how tough you think you are on this app. I kept it respectful for Root, but Root knows my mouth, my mouth equal opportunist. I don't give a fuck who I'm talking to and who I talk to reckless. So again, I wasn't talking to you like that. Watch your fucking mouth when you talk to me like that, bruh. Period. It's that simple. Because I didn't come up here disrespectfully. I came up here respectfully. But I'll be goddamn if a white man will sit here and tell me about something that don't matter when I just said that it was culturally attached to me. And I had questions. I literally asked her respectfully, did she have them? I even asked, oh, okay, so that was a while ago, right? And that was it. I kept it respectful. But you ain't gonna talk to me crazy like that worth a damn, cuz. You don't fucking know me. And I will say it gracefully. If anybody got a problem with that, feel free. To let me go, block me, whatever, but I'm gonna fucking speak up on it. Period. All right. And Nobody's Taurus, rocking you, Taurus. Nobody's rocking you. Well, no, Taurus is 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 often in, in here and he's respectful every time. Pony just like you don't have to take up for everybody. People can talk. We can all have conversations. I'm not and letting anybody thing. in the and that's that's something too for people putting in these requests. If if I if I don't know you well enough to know that you can have respectful conversation, I'm not letting you in the box. Rosebud, you can stop putting in requests. I'm I'm not putting you in the box. And that's the thing though, Root. You already know. The first time I met this dickhead, he tried to get slick at the mouth with me, bro. Like I ain't gonna let that shit fly. Now if you wanna do that stupid shit, we can do it. Every time I see you, bro, it can be on site. Or you can have some sense about yourself, keep it cordial and keep it keep it cute. But I'm not the one to fucking talk to like that, bro. You don't fucking know me. I make house calls, bro. And why you got so much to fucking say about it's hair, I don't give a fuck. Bro, that shit is culturally attached to me. This shit right here, these are locks, bro. 12 fucking years worth. Don't talk to me about what don't matter. Watch your fucking mouth, bro. Period. Don't speak on what you don't fucking know about. That entitlement shit might fly with them, but it damn sure it won't with me. Let's fuck on this app. See, and that's what we were talking about, Sparkle. Like, just... You talk, you you talk reckless as fuck behind yourself. the screen, bro. Don't talk to me like that. You don't fucking know me. I can be cool or I can be a fucking dickhead. Don't believe me? Ask Root himself. How you think me and Root met? 
Yeah. Same way I mean. That shows to my decorum. <laughs> me and this man had a conversation, and I'm a mod for his lives. That because we had an equitable dialogue. You don't come at me like that, bro. You don't fucking know me like that. Don't think for one second I'm gonna respect you because I got respect for Root. I don't fucking know you, nor do I care about you. And I'm gonna sit up to listen to what you got to say to me since you so fucking bold. Respectfully, sir. What? Do you know that my name is Sparkle Pony? Because me and Root met like a long time ago and he gave me the name Sparkle Pony and we're real good friends. Respectfully, I don't give a fuck. Well, uh, that's not really respect. Well, no, that's it's the thing, Pony. It's like because it, it doesn't it doesn't have any.